a franchise playthrough. So, my original definition was playing every game in the franchise. But talking to people, while they agree that playing every game in the franchise would be a franchise playthrough, not... There's there's a lot of... Apparently, and I've never played any of them. Apparently, some of the God of Wars are just butt cheeks and did not age well. So, like, God of War 1 and 2 are apparently just bad. I'm going to leave it up to, to everyone. Like, I'm willing to play them even though they're shitty um, to complete a franchise playthrough. But if, if, the, if, the, if the peeps don't want to watch the shit games, I will not play the shit games. I mean, really, looking at, like, the time of, the time of completion, you know, 1 and 2 will take, like, 9 hours apiece to beat. So a stream and a half, two streams, maybe. Um, God of War 3 was like 12 hours is what it said and then the newest God of War is like you know the, the 45 hour journey right so so really it's it's right one or two of them are bad but they kind of need the backstory so yeah yeah so so I was thinking about playing one or two just kind of mus- muscling through them nine hours is not that long I'm at 14 in this game and I've taken my time with this game Doing every single side quest. You probably do it even quicker. Honestly, like, I, I think I'm going to end up playing 1, 2, 3, and then the most recent God of War. Um, kind of speedrunning through 1 and 2, and then playing 3 normally, and then... And not speedrunning, like, skipping cutscenes, but, like, I might... <clears throat> I might take a sneak peek at a video or something and just kind of, like understand the controls before going in so i'm not taking forever to try to learn all the buttons and stuff like that i might try to go in with like a little bit of base knowledge so i can just go off right away uh three i'm going to take like the same way i took this game i'm going to take it in stride full full fledged and then the most recent one is going to be a fucking crazy one i'm thinking about playing the new god of war i don't know what else to call it other than the new one because it's named god of fucking war um i'm thinking about playing the new god of war Part of me wants to try it on the hardest difficulty. I've played it for 35 minutes to an hour total. I played it on the hardest difficulty and got my ass beat for that entire hour. And it was kind of fun. But I worry that I would get absolutely stuck. Like, I wouldn't get frustrated. I I can tank those games, no problem. But, like, you might actually have, like, a four-hour stream where I'm fighting one boss for four hours. I like all of them, but back when I played them, they were one of the best games of the time. I'm glad because I've never seen like full like the full games. I'm only here, like only here and there, watching Jason play. So I'm not familiar with it all. My friend likes God of War. He got me to try it. I couldn't get into it. It's one of those games. I think it's not for everyone. Right? Being on the hardest difficulty, yes, it's a challenge. So yeah, yeah, and and I mean, I kind of like the idea of a fun, of like the, where the franchise playthrough idea came from is because I have a distinct lack of gaming history as far as like single player and story player games go that like if you if you guys told me to just play the newest god of war i would go watch a recap video so in my mind instead of watching a recap video why not just play the games and enjoy the story from beginning to end how it was meant that's where the idea came from same with like Kingdom Hearts and stuff. I've I've I have like a total of like an hour in Kingdom Hearts. I don't know jack shit about that game other than Mickey Mouse is a character and Sora has big ass shoes. Like that's all I know. So that's where the franchise playthrough came from. Um, it, instead of me going and watching videos to get a story, just play the game, play the story, and do it like that. Playing through the story at least once I feel is necessary. Word. Well, so God, I have so I have the PlayStation now, and so every single. Every single God of War, well, all the ones that aren't the newest one, are on PlayStation now, so I have access to 1, 2, and 3. No problems. And then I have the newest one, so. I, I have all the games. They're accessible to me. I, I think I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to muscle through it. Let my sound come back. I, so the headphones I have are a studio headphone, and the only, they turn off when there's no sound being done, and there was just no sound being done. So the only way they turn back on is by hearing a, a volume, a certain volume for a certain amount of time. So I just actually had to run in circles to turn my headphones on. Okay. We ready to open this door? Are we ready to open this door? I don't know. I don't know.
know, man. I'm nervous. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. You again? Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, what? either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Okay. That was immensely anticlimactic to what I thought I was about to do. I was ready to open that door and start like a giant fight, but I just am now walking away. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, here she is. Looking like a million gill. Hey, yeah. Uh. That's really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Corneo's got certain tastes. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud. Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. What? See what exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Why do I have a rough idea of what's about to happen? Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are well, you? what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. I'm not gonna say what's on my mind until I've confirmed or denied my suspicion. But it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look yes! good in the dress. I was right. Let's it's go. Rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh. Come on. Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. 
No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Oh, yes! Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. It's about to get crazy. Is that Teach? And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do what? that? What? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. Oh my god, I have to dance. <coughs> Press the buttons in time to the music using the rhythm line as a guide. The colors in the button presses. Okay. Watch the buttons clo precision closely and get ready to press them when the panel and line are on top of each other. Okay. <laughs> rhythm games. Delicious. Perfection. Work it, honey. Work it, honey. What is happening? Perfection. I'm a dancer, first class. No, I'm good. I just hit 10 out of 10. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> Where'd my oh sword my. go? Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. Until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flashing. It can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the honey bee. Oh god, Aerith. Those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. <laughs> it's 
time to bust a move. Let's do it, dude. I was born for this stage. I was born for this stage. Think you can follow my lead? Work it! <laughs> Damn, it's actually really hard because there's so much going on. There was actually so much happening on the screen that I missed a few. Transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin. Ooh. Oh, we're doing this on stage? Hog. of the heart, a thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. This is super 2020. Yeah. 
I'm putting. I'm putting his. My mind. Who's there? Hey, look at me! I can dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. Was a look at him. <laughs> was it look planned at from the start? Him. Probably not. Did you see their look of surprise? <laughs> look at him. Wow, loud. Now that was a show. <laughs> he won't talk to me. <laughs> Cloud? Yoo-hoo, Cloud, hello? Now that is what hot breaths. Please don't. <laughs> okay, um... More drink, what do you say? It's a getting pretty late. Not a word. <laughs> Anyone one? No! But you're so pretty! I would give anything to get to know her! Hey, one more. Alright, we going, we going in now? Yeah, we're going in now. Alright. Can I run in heels? Oh my god, I can. I can run in heels. Let's go. I'm not going to, because I'm a lovely lady. Cloud is so pissed. Look at his face. Oh my god, where's my sword? What is this guy gonna say? Oh my god, this guy's gonna fucking say something crazy! This guy's gonna say something wild, I can't wait! Oh, here it comes! What's up, bitch? <laughs> no way. <laughs> From Andrea Rodea and Madame Anne. Oh, that wow. ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, well, no fine. way. If you say so, come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Where's the stairs? Am I stupid? Am I stupid? Oh. I literally went under the stairs. Nice. You came back to me being a beautiful princess. That one's Madam M's girl, ain't it? Hands. Hey, hands to yourself. Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. What the fuck? Room's at the end. Keep walking. Oh, Tifa, I'm home. Oh, that's not a pretty room. This room looks awful. Sweet smell. And oh shit. I feel so dizzy. Oh yes. shit. Uh, Stop breathing. Uh, Damn it. Cloud. Hey, pretty ladies, do you? Feeling a little lightheaded? Better can have that. Let's say we escort you to the parlor so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now. Lopsy Daisy. Hey, head of the pit, asshole. The hell? You want to throw down the Corneo girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lookers this time, then. <laughs> oh, <Sam. laughs> hey, can you hear me? <sighs> Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. She doesn't know. Good. She doesn't know. Wait a minute. Oh, she's about to know. 
with that makeup. The makeup. And the dress. And the dress. Nailed it. I know. Thank you. Moving on. He said he nailed it. He said he nailed it. Nailed it. I know. <laughs> Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on, that is amazing! This game is incredible! You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Doesn't I know. know who this is. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? I thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, <laughs> if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> Let the real waifu wars commence. So what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room you know, you crazy. should know now that there were three different dress choices for Aerith and Cloud. So, like, if I would have chosen no deal to Sam, my dress would have been different. Is that what you're saying? Also, there's, like, a dramatic difference in, like, her dress. Blue, short, skimpy, long, oh, red yes, elegance. Listen, I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> girl, girl number one, what's your name? Cloud. Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> hmm. Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Oh, hell no. Nice. Very nice. He's like a gremlin. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Oh, no. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Let go of me. Oh, yeah! I've got it! I've got it! 
Today's bride to be is. Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was Me. it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing uh. hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> Look at his belly, dude! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. He just, did he just finger gun and say, yeah? So, baby, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. Oh, How Aerith. about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> What the hell? Get down! Don't you stupid! The chair! Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Let's go, Leslie. Uh, thank you. That's more like it. Okay. Oh, cool. I'm Aerith. Okay. Better hurry. Where is Cornell's room? Is this it? Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? <laughs> Can you take over for me? Win. 